This is part 6 to Call of Duty 2 Radiant Tools. In this tutorial I wanted to show you guys how to insert models into your created maps. And first off to be able to do that you have to go actually get your models from they actually come with the game. You go to Call of Duty 2 uh, which in order to get there go to start my computer C drive COD 2 main and I gotta remember which one of these it was. Here we are. We in IWD 13. You uh, just double click it to open it. Um, it might ask you what you want to open it with. If you don't have WinRAR already, you need to go get WinRAR. I'll put a link in the description to get WinRAR. Anyways, you need this folder right here. So just take, drag, and drop that to your desktop. Okay, now that we've got X model right here, this is actually where the models are. Um, we need to go into the main and we need to paste these, drag and drop these right into the main folder. And there's our X model. Um, since I'm using my tools on a, I'm not sure exactly, um, I'm going to copy and paste these into both of my radiant tools because I use them in two different places for backup so okay I have X model in both of my folders now you need that to use models in Call of Duty 2 radiant so now I'm gonna open up COD 2 radiant I'm just gonna open that last map that I just did in the last video with the little house Okay, and I'm going to right click on the grid. If it'll let me. Whenever I'm using Cam Studio, I get problems with right clicking. Okay, now um, right click on your grid go to miscellaneous go to model now it's automatically opening the X model file folder and here you can select whatever model you want um, you can just move the entity box over you can also search the model you want by going to where you uh, put your models at like since they're right here I could type let's just type uh, Jeep and it's gonna find and then you can take and copy this here go back to the radiant tools paste that right in there and it's gonna give you a list of other stuff too but there we got us a Russian Jeep right here make sure that it's on the ground see these models are very very particular if you put them under the ground they will mess up put them in a wall they will mess up press in to close the entity box. Now we have our Jeep. And that's how you insert models and how do you use models. Press escape to let go of that. And COD 2 Radiant. I'm going to go ahead and test it, start, run it, and show you a screenshot of this map and me buy that Jeep. Okay, one second. Okay, uh, I was having some problem getting the Jeep. Uh, model to work. Usually there it's no problems but um, instead I'm just gonna go back and search for a table. I'll find a little table that I want. Okay and copy that and back on our map I'm gonna right click. Go to miscellaneous, go to model, paste that right there. There's our table. We can Turn the entity, entity off. Make sure that it's on the ground. Okay. And now I'm going to compile and test the map and I'll show you that that model worked as a table. Okay, and as you can see in this photo, there's our table. Um, that's the screenshot I took. 
there's a far off of it. And that's how you find your models and insert them. Remember they're in IW13. Just grab the X model folder, drag it to your desktop, and then paste that right in your main and the Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2 Radiant tools will automatically find them. Alright, thank you.